गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस टू इम्पॉर्टेंट फार्मूला द फर्स्ट वन वॉज फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एफ विल बी इक्वल टू जी एम एम बाई डी स्क्वायर दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट फार्मूला वेर एम इज मास ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट कैपिटल एम इज द मास ऑफ अर्थ and d is the distance uh, distance between the earth and the object and capital g is gravitational constant and second formula was that we have established the relation between small g and capital g that acceleration due to gravity is equal to product of universal constant into mass of the earth and radius of the earth and i tell you that acceleration due to gravity does not depend on mass of the falling objects now today we will discuss some of the questions based on these formula so the first question that we calculate acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon so write this uh, question this is question number 1 question 1 that calculate the value of acceleration due to gravity i am simply writing small g on the surface calculate the value of acceleration due to gra gravity on the surface of moon and uh, given things are mass of the moon mass of the moon is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg radius of moon is given One seven four zero kilometer, and value of gravitational constant is also given. Value of gravitational constant is. Six point seven into ten to the power minus eleven. Newton meter is square per kg square. So these are the given things. Now you have to calculate value of g. So we will use this second equation. So if we have to calculate acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon, then at the surface of moon it will be i am writing gravitational constant into mass of moon divided by radius of moon square this will be the formula 
so G M M M M stands for mass of moon and R M stands for radius of moon so if we will uh, substitute the value it will be 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 then mass of moon is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 and then radius of moon now radius of moon is given in kilometer so convert it into meter so it will be 1740 into 10 to the power 3 so writing 1740 into 10 to the power 3 whole square now this can be written as 6.7 into 7.4 now the powers can be written as 10 to the power 22 minus 11 and this can be also written as in denominator we can write it as 1.74 into 10 to the power 6 whole square so if we further simplify it it will be 6.7 into 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 minus 11 6 to the 12 it, it will be go up so it will be minus 12 and in denominator we have 1.74 whole square so if you will simplify it further so it will be 6.7 into 7.4 it will be 10 to the power minus 1 no? 22 minus 11 minus 12 so it means it will be 1 by 10 and in denominator we have 1.74 into 1.74 into 10 so try to simplify it if we will uh, remove the decimals then in numerator we have how many zeros in denominator we have two and two four digits after decimal so we have to put four zeros in the numerator and in denominator we have 174 into 174 into 10 is already there in denominator and after decimal how many digits 1 and 1 2 so two zeros here so if we will simplify these three zeros will be cancelled so it will be Sixty seven sixty seven into seventy four into ten and in denominator one seventy four into one seventy four. Uh, the numericals are lengthy and the calculation is also a little bit difficult but you have to practice children there is no way out that's why i am solving this question because you will get this type of questions in exam so when you will uh, multiply 67 into 74 it will be 4 nine five eight and due to this ten it will be zero and in denominator we have in denominator we have one seventy four and one seventy four so it will be three zero 
276 and if you will divide 49580 by 30276 it will be approximately 1.63 meter per second square so this is the value of g on the surface of moon so must practice this type of question now i'm giving another question The question is Consider heavenly bodies I Write this question Consider heavenly body whose mass is 3 into 10 to the power 24 kg three into 10 to the power 24 kg and in bracket it is given that half that of the earth half that of the earth and radius is 3200 km this is also half that of the earth it means as you know mass of earth is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg and radius of earth is 6400 kilometer so just half these two given things sir what is the acceleration what is the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of this heavenly body so this is the question Consider a heavenly body whose mass is 3 into 10 to the power 24 kg, half that of earth and radius is 3200 km, half that of the earth 
what is the acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity at the surface of this heavenly body so this time uh, we will use the formula g is equal to gme by r is square we know that that acceleration due to gravity is equal to gravitational constant into mass of the earth divided by radius of the earth whole square now uh, if we look at the question then here according to question mass of heavenly body is mass of heavenly body is equal to half that of earth and radius of heavenly body is also half that of earth this these two things are given this is according to question so if we will substitute these values if we will substitute the values so we will get g is equal to we are writing g and in place of m mass of the earth we are writing me by 2 and in place of radius of the earth we are writing re by 2 whole square so it will be gme by 2 re square and it will be goes up so 4 so 22 za 4 so it will be equal to 2 gme by r e square now you know that this value is fixed acceleration due to this is equal to g and g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square in last class we have calculated so we can write it as simply 2 into 9.8 so it will be 19.6 meter per second square so on that heavenly body acceleration due to gravity on that heavenly body will be equal to 19.6 meter per second square now uh, we will discuss uh, next question the question is this is question 3 consider a heavenly body that has mass to m e and radius to r e where m e and r e
where M E and R E are the mass and the radius of the earth respectively calculate the acceleration due to gravity of this heavenly body so mass of the heavenly body is given 2 me it means twice the mass of the earth and radius of that heavenly body is twice the radius of the earth you have to calculate the acceleration due to gravity of this heavenly body so acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth we know that g e i am writing on the earth surface it will be g into mass of the earth into radius of the earth whole square now to calculate the acceleration due to gravity on heavenly body let acceleration due to gravity let acceleration due to gravity on heavenly body g h h for heavenly body h for heavenly so we can write g h universal constant will be as it is in place of me we will write 2 me because mass of that heavenly body is twice the mass of the earth and radius will be 2 re whole square so if you will simplify it it will be 2 g me by 4 re square so it will be 1 by 2 into gme by re square now gme by re square is equal to 9.8 this is actually acceleration due to gravity and its value is 9.8 meter per second square so it will be equal to half into 9.8 so it will be 4.9 meter per second square so children you can get this type of questions and the you have to think which formula we have to apply and how to solve these questions now uh, giving some other question uh, for example
try to solve this one. Question number four. Question number four is class work. Write this question. Two bodies of masses. वन के जी एंड टू के जी रेस्पेक्टिवली आर प्लेस्ड एट अ सेपरेशन ऑफ वन मीटर find the acceleration of the bodies assuming that only gravitational forces act so you have to calculate the acceleration of the bodies acceleration produced in a body of mass 1 kg and the acceleration produced in the body of mass 2 kg now to calculate acceleration as you know uh, we use newton's second law of motion and according to uh, newton's second law of motion force is equal to mass into acceleration so acceleration is equal to force by mass from second law we have learned that f is equal to ma and so a is equal to f by m isn't it so first of all we will calculate the force because to know the acceleration force is required so to calculate force we will use formula g m m by d square from newton's law of gravitation so take value of g 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 and then substitute the values 1 this is 2 kg capital m suppose small m is 1 kg and the distance they are separated by a distance of 1 meter so 1 square now quickly simplify it try to simplify it children so you have to multiply numerator with 2 only so if you will multiply ultimately you will get 1.33 into 10 to the power minus 10 newton so this is the force of attraction between the two objects now each body attract the other 
with a force so let us calculate the acceleration so the acceleration of 1 kg body first we will calculate the acceleration of 1 kg body will be the acceleration of 1 kg body will be a is equal to f by m so you can also mark it as small m because for small m we have written 1 so it will be 1.33 into 10 to the power minus 10 by 1 so after simplification same answer divided by 1 you will get so this is the acceleration in first body now for second body same process you try yourself and calculate the acceleration of second body So for second body same process let acceleration is A2 so F by capital M so this number will be divided by 2 simply because mass of second body is 2 kg and if you will divide it you will get 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 meter per second square so uh, this is uh, a different type of question you can get this type of questions also now from NCRT book uh, I think I have given some question in last class uh, the questions are I think you all have done it because in this chapter you have to labor hard you have to practice there is no way out Yes, in last class I have given the question the mass of the earth is 6.24 kg and that of the moon is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg. If the distance between the earth and the moon be 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 km, calculate the force exerted by the earth on the moon and value of capital G is given 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square those who are getting these answers this one 2.01 2.01 into 10 to the power 20 So they are correct if you are getting this answer. I am not going to solve this question. 
now uh, some uh, more questions uh, from exemplar what are the questions and let us let me see the first uh, objective question is two objects of uh, different masses falling freely near the surface of moon would have same velocity at any instant have different accelerations experience forces of same magnitude undergoes a change in their inertia <coughs> so which one is correct what you think two bodies of different masses falling yes so acceleration produced in freely falling objects is independent of the mass of the falling objects so they have obviously uh, same velocity at any instant but the uh, what about the accelerations so if they are falling with same velocity they have same accelerations experiences force of same magnitude undergoes a change in their inertia so think about it and give your answer in whatsapp quickly children so the i think the first statement is correct because the they have same velocity since the acceleration produced in freely falling body will be independent of the mass of the falling object so whatever be the mass if the body is light or heavy they all are falling with same velocity so first option is correct now uh, this one also the gravitational force between two object is f if the masses of both the objects are half without changing the distance between them <coughs> then the gravitational force would become so gravitational force will be equal to capital g product of the masses and distance between them square of the distance between them so initially it was f so according to question here f is equal to g m by d square now gravitational force between two object is this much now if the masses of both the objects are half now according to question m is equal to m by 2 and capital m is also equal to m by 2 <coughs> without changing the distance between them and there is no change in d so you have to calculate the force of attraction between them 
तो लेट द न्यू ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन देम इज एफ डैश सो इट विल बी जी इन प्लेस ऑफ एम वी आर राइटिंग एम बाई टू एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ कैपिटल एम वी विल राइट सो टू इंटू टू एंड डी स्क्वायर सो यू विल गेट वन बाई फोर जी एम एम बाई डी स्क्वायर so this quantity is equal to f this is equal to f so f by 4 1 by 4 into f so f by 4 so new gravitational force will be 1/4 the original one so this is another question okay uh, children we will discuss uh, more questions in next class and this one is also important i think question number 9 you want to see two particles are placed at some distance if the mass of each of the two particle is doubled in previous uh, question the masses becomes half m by 2 small m by 2 and capital m by 2 here the masses become double keeping the distance between them unchanged so no change in d the value of gravitational force between them so it will be 4 times because g 2m into 2m it will be 4 into g mm by d square so it will be 4 times so b option is correct and uh, in next class uh, we will uh, discuss some important topics that difference between small g and capital g and value of g uh, i think we have calculate i give you a task to calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth or uh, we have done it that it is 9.8 so uh, in next class we will discuss what are the differences between small g and capital g and then we will discuss motion of objects under the influence of gravitational force of the earth so uh, this much for today thank you children